Hello everybody, Prince of the Bear here, and we're back at Universal Studios because you asked for us to come to Monsters Cafe. We finally did it. And I wanted to come here too. Yes, the princess has been asking and asking, and every time we've come, we've missed it either by like an hour or being closed. We came in HHN and they weren't even serving what we wanted. So yes, we're finally gonna eat your jackfruit sandwich. So I'm gonna go be a monster. Be sure to uh... You heard the girl. Hello. You wanna get a mummy? Uh, what's this back here in the corner? Oh. Let me just get two things above the sprouts. Double sprouts? Brussels sprouts. Double? Yes. The classic American beer that's vegan. Always a good three out of five yeasties. Free and Three out of five? It's average. <laughs> I'm always happy to have a yingling, but I've said it once, said a thousand times, universal. Some diversity in beers. You can get them during festivals. At Halloween Horror Nights, there's no reason that I should have to settle for either only Bud Light or Yingling when I come to a monster cafe. Where are my themed beers in here? You're breaking my heart. For specialty drinks. But it's good Yingling. Three out of five plus. The jackfruit sandwich that I've been waiting over a year to try is finally in my hands and it is falling apart. But there's coleslaw and crunchies, so cool. Mm. Oh lord. <laughs> I need napkins in my hair. It's all over the place. It's called the mummy, and it most certainly wrapped me in juices. But it's good. I'm good. I'm I good. Not one of the no. Huh? Juices? Not yet. <laughs> Juices. I will give it four out of five messy, juicy emoteps for the mummy. And no coffee. Already, I got some issues with this. Use jackfruit to imitate pulled pork. But if you're gonna imitate it, you need everything. Like the buns are a soggy mess. Got these crispy onions on here, this plant-based slaw. Uh, it's more sloppy Joe than pulled pork. Cool. Jackfruit's got some flavor to it. It needs a bit more seasoning. I feel like you guys didn't trust the ancestors when you were seasoning jackfruit. But it's on the right track. It's better than a lot of the plant-based stuff we've had here. The crispy onions are so soggy they add literally nothing. The slaw is basic. With a bit more seasoning and like like a properly toasted bun with some like falling apart literally in your fingers, might have something on your hands. They Until then, did toast the bun. This is toasted? Yes. This is like a sponge. I watched them toast it. Well then. Maybe some training parts in there, but either way. For me, that's a two and a half out of five flaws. And I was expecting a lot more. I'm a bit disappointed. And then we have these fries. That's a that's a fail on the, the fry test there. But at least they're partially salty. They're better than the sandwiches. Three out of five flaws. I mean, technically I do, I'm rating it, but either way. Another quick service, another half roast chicken. Uh, I have some issues with half, maybe a third. Doesn't feel like half a chicken. Cause you're definitely missing some middle part here. Got the wing, you got the leg. There's a little bit of thigh in there, but it's like, it's, it's a third of a chicken. Not a half rotisserie, don't lie to us. The skin looks nice and juicy. It doesn't look dry. Let's just break off this leg. This knife and fork thing's not gonna work. You guys know how I feel about bad chicken. Mm. 
It's not public rotisserie chicken. It's more like a couple hour old Walmart rotisserie chicken. It's juicy, it's not dried out, the skin's got some flavor, but you're not gonna win any awards with that. To me, again, that's average. Two and a half out of five plus. As for, <laughs> As for these crispy Brussels sprouts, there are some crisp, they spear well. Nothing really special about it. There's some lemon in there and some salt and pepper, but it's a decent side. This place is a whole lot of average. It's a quick service. It's doing what it needs to do. It's not going to win any awards. You won't see me running back here for the food, but it's not the worst thing I've had in Universal. That's two and a half out of five claws for the Brussels sprouts. Two and a half for the whole thing. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to be satisfied, but I'm not going to brag about it. I mean, I might. So we did it. We finally hung out at the Monsters and Monsters Cafe. I think I enjoyed it a lot more than Bear did. Yeah, I, I would. I maybe it was because of the build-up you guys have been asking for months. I was expecting something like mind-blowing, and it was just man to me, like a B-level Frankenstein movie. I would say it's more like an A-level for me, but I really enjoyed that jackfruit, even though it got all over my hair. I'm about to take a shower now. It's not the worst jackfruit we've had. I just. I'm not amazed by it. I'm not going to remember that in a week or two. But I have been harsh with things before. If you guys think different, of course, let us know in the comments. If there's anywhere else around Universal or in a period you'd like to see us go, that's going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Saturday. You heard the girl. Be sure to subscribe.